going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Got it. Brilliant. Right, well, hello everybody and welcome to my garage. But why are we in the garage? Well, today we're in uh, in my garage, as I say, and as you can see, it's a bit of a tip. Um, and I've done a lot of tidying already. Um, what I have got is I've got a loft ladder up there. I've boarded out and a lot of all my kit that was down here has now been moved up into the attic area. But I've still got a lot of tidying up to do because I've got a up and coming project planned. I'm not going to say what that is, but what we're doing today is we're just ripping down the old pegboard which had all well some of my tools just hanging up on various little hooks but it wasn't very uh, it wasn't very good so my plan is with my trusty assistant over there he's a bit camera shy uh, we're going to rip all this down we're going to replace all the battening on the wall and what I have got is a lot of pallet wood just lying around taking up space so uh, I'm not building anything out of pallet wood at the moment I've also got another pallet there that needs ripping down and the plan is to make a pallet wood wall along there and then I'm going to uh, buy various magnetic tool strips and hooks and make little shells and I'm going to make that into a tool wall this area will then be cleared See, I've got all my gear there, my paddleboard, my inflatable kayaks down there. Um, we're going to be clearing this area. I'm probably going to make a, a bench table there for working on for the up and coming project. But what will that up and coming project be? Well, all will be revealed. Buttons off the wall, which we can reuse. Uh, the plan is to have some verticals like that, and then we're going to pallet wood across that whole that whole area, right up to that cupboard, and then uh, work around the electrics there. Uh, tidy that wiring up and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there and then we can utilize this bench area normally this is just stacked with kit so i want to be able to get to that have all sort of tools underneath maybe a pillar drill something like that on top yeah happy with that this wall isn't very even but uh, once we've battened out uh, be fine and there'll be a bit of an air gap behind so the uh, the wall can breathe right let's crack on i've got the uh, first battens fixed ideally yes i would have liked battens that went straight to the top but i'm just using what i've got and what i've stripped off the wall um i'm using screws that i've collected over the years <clears throat> i'm using pallet wood that I've just obtained so as it stands it's cost me absolutely nothing um so yeah so that's the first buttons on the wall did them yesterday I'm just starting to put the first pallet board on these are all th these haven't been cut to size I've just spaced the buttons accordingly and then the same will go the next one will go 
to there and then if I work from that end it goes from there to there and there to there so I've always got a batten on the end of a uh, piece of pallet wood that was the temperature that it was yesterday 0.9 it's warmed up a bit today 5.2 so it's a little bit more comfortable in the garage so that's what I'm doing now I'm just putting the uh, the first board on and then we'll just work our way along Incidentally, this battery drill has had its day. The batteries last not very long. <laughs> That's why it's very underpowered. And of course, if you have it on the wrong setting, that doesn't work very well either. Bit better. And I only have the one drill at the moment, so I'm having to swap the drill bit out for the countersink. And then for the uh, screw bit, so it takes me a bit longer. It's going to take me a long while doing it this way. drill anyway Whew. I'm having to revert to old school just to save battery but I'm in no rush Two rows in now. Looking all right. I've sanded each board down just a little bit. And I'll probably stain it after. Probably a bit of overkill for a garage, but I've got time on my hands, so why not? So I just need to work my way up now. the battens now I need to get some more 32 by 32 millimeter square battens take it up to the brick line but for now that gives me something to work on I've got a few other little bits I want to add to it now I've managed to work around the sockets and the circuit breaker box so yeah quite pleased with that I might end up putting a an 18 milli plywood top on that and carry it round further round get rid of all this but yeah for now quite happy with that right okay I'm gonna bring this video to a close now but what I will do is I'll just show you what I've uh, achieved so far and I have to say I'm quite chuffed with what I've done and I've discovered something that you may have heard of before I've never heard of it and it's revolutionized, rev, it's revolutionized uh, the way I'm gonna uh, organize my garage. So I'll show you that now. So this is uh, as far as I've got so far, as you saw earlier. I've uh, used all my pallet wood, sanded it down, and created this sort of base wall that I can work on. And what I've discovered is something called French cleats. Now you may have heard of them before, like I said, I've never heard of them. And it's basically a piece of wood cut at 45 degrees. And then you've got another piece here cut at 45 degrees. And that fits in there like that. 
Now, ideally, I should be doing this on a table saw, but I don't have one. So I had to use a jigsaw, so it's not the perfect cut, but the uh, system does still work. So I've created these, which are, if we just move that one out of the way. This has got, as you can see, a piece of the French cleat screwed to the back of this piece of pallet wood. I've then been out and bought these magnetic uh, tool strips and got these from Halfords. And they came in a pack of three. And there was an 18 inch one, a 12 inch one, and this one, which is probably about six inch. Um, nine quid, so I thought they were good. And basically, I can move that to wherever I like. I can put it there, and then I've made this one for my spanners. And that can move to there. So I can have these buttons all the way up here and all the way along here. And I can create these little tool holders to suit whatever tools I've got. You can see that one. I've just got a little piece at the back there just to support it, to stop it from going back. Uh, the screwdriver one doesn't need it because that just fits nicely on there like that. So I'm going to be creating or coming up with ideas for different ways of uh, securing all the different tools that I've got. I've currently got one gluing there. This is just a sort of an experiment. And this is to hold my claw hammer and my little tack hammer. Like I say, it's just an experiment. Might work, might not. And I'll just place that on there for now. So uh, that's what we've done so far. So that's it for today. Um, if you've got any ideas that I can use for my uh, new pallet wood tool wall and uh, French cleats, then please leave a comment below. I'll be interested to hear any uh, ideas you may have come up with. And if you've used French cleats before, then uh, let me know how you've got on with them. So I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And as I said, this uh, sort of garage tidy and organisation is uh, planning towards a new project that I've got coming up uh, probably in March sometime, so uh, look out for that one. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.